By vote three to zero, Matt, you've been evicted from the middle of the house. It is the common knowledge that Matt needs to go because if he doesn't go, like I said, uh, we're not gonna win any fucking competition because he's gonna win out from here on out. So that's my, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what everybody's thinking. Like, uh, yeah, he needs to go because it gives me a better chance to win the HOH or a POV. Hello, house guests. We at the BB Collagio want to make sure you still have the hunger to win this game. Speaking of hunger, we just found out the BB Collagio buffet table has run out of its key ingredient, ranch dressing, and boy are the Midwesterners angry. This competition is called Ranch Stampede, and here's how it works. You'll scoop up ranch dressing in the provided receptacle, transport it across the yard, and pour it into your designated bottle. The first house guest to fill their bottle enough to retrieve their floating ball will be the new head of household. So I hope you don't mind getting elbow deep in ranch because that's literally what you're about to do. Good luck. HOH competition is the ranch dressing competition, which is super fun. I, I am really excited about it uh, because I have been wanting to do a more physical competition. I haven't really gotten the chance to do many of those, so I'm super excited to play. <laughs> So we are supposed to transport first the ranch from the bucket to our mason jar using the stick of celery, and then once we fill our mason jar, we can start using the mason jar to fill our bigger container, and whoever fills it first wins. It's hot outside, and ranch is gross when it's hot. So I'm thinking to myself like, okay, I need to get my little jar filled up as quickly as I can. I'm using the celery and I'm trying to hold it between so my hands are cupping as much of the ranch dressing between as I can.
first person to fill up my jar. And by this point, I know that people are gonna be on me quick. So I grab my jar, I dump it in the big jar, and then I just race back to the ranch dressing bucket. And as soon as I get there, I hear people already getting their jars ready. So I know I've got to hustle. mason jar filled and I start off like a full sprint to go back and get my mason jar filled and I, I'm, I'm running I'm, I'm running faster than Ewok I'm, I'm doing more paces than him but I realize that my mason jar is not filling up full enough I'm not letting it fill with liquid enough so I'm only getting half um, half jars full of, of ranch as I'm running back and forth fast, I'm covered in ranch dressing, I'm starting to get tired, and I look over and I see that Nate is right behind me. And I look over and Sabrina's right behind me, and they are keeping the pace up. I dump it in and I can see that I can I can maybe reach my ball. So I reach down and I grab it and I pull it up and and I win. <laughs> and I win. So right after HOH, whenever um, Ewok wins the ranch dressing competition, there is the last opportunity to go into the prize center. I decided to go in because at this point I have over 130 points because I doubled my money when I played the VIP casino with Matt and Jack. Um, so I know I have enough to buy the most expensive item, which is the satchel of stealing. So I come in, I'm the first one to go in. So I have my option of the last three items. I think I'm just gonna do it. Okay, great. Oh, thank you. Why not? Thank you. Um, the most expensive item. Because I can. Um, I do go ahead and purchase a satchel of stealing because I know that it's either A, going to guarantee me that I stay, or B, it's going to guarantee that I get to pick who gets to leave. Um, because it was, it's already, it's top five, so I definitely knew that there was going to be a lot of power in my hands um, using it now. So I go ahead and I buy it. I hide it in my shorts. <laughs> I know I'm going to use it. I'm not quite sure yet how I want to use it. Um, I think I would like to get Jack out because he is starting to become a good competition threat. And I think he's done a really good social game as well. And so I think he would have some votes in jury. And so I'm thinking that he's my next person I would like to, to get out. And so Ewok wins. Let me tell you, after you won HOH, I went on a little shopping spree, and it was it was a little bittersweet because I get in second and I see that the satchel the, the satchel of stealing or whatever is MIA, and Sabrina was the only one who went before me, so I'm like, okay, Sabrina has the satchel of stealing. Uh, 
I get the bracelet of blocking because I doubled my points when my nominee took me to the casino to get more points. So I doubled those, so I had 110. I was like, oh, this is great. Um, get the, the bracelet of blocking. And I, I tell Tanika, I'm like, if as long as at least one of us isn't on the block, I can use this to block the other voter, and it's just gonna be one of us voting to save the other. Okay, we have 80 kind of which is not much by any of these options. Yeah. It's very uh, disappointing. Is this going to be another negative Yelp review? Well, I think so. Your shop's a little bit out of my price range, and your selection is extremely slim. <laughs> Who is in charge of merchandising? <laughs> That's true. I don't know who is kind of leaning towards, like, to me getting okay. to put them up, and then from there just let them battle it out. Right. I can't vote this time. And as long as it, yeah. how many people are voting? Two? Is that it? Just two? <coughs> I guess it's only two. So, because one, two, three. Yeah, two. I think it would be two and eight. And from there, I'm just going to let the house choose. Jack goes in after me, and he immediately leaves to go inside. And so my guess is that he did purchase something. Uh, Nathan goes in after him, and Nathan says there's only one item left, and he did not purchase it. So that makes me think and confirm that I believe that Jack bought something. So what do you think? That's just, I mean, according to plan. Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. Um, I don't know. Worst case scenario would be myself and Sabrina on the block. Sabrina had 135 points, so she could buy the satchel of stealing, which we knew if we were in final five together, that could guarantee us final four. What do you think of you? I mean, I don't love it, but it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, you never know my target. Yeah. 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 From day one, you never yeah. know my target. The only case that could diminish, that could ruin that, is if we're both on the block together, because then she could use her statue of stealing to guarantee I'm out of the out of the house. So I just need to make sure that we weren't on the block together. So I just pushed for Tymika to go on the block, and even if I was a pawn, I was like, as long as we're not on that together. I want to bring Tanika to the final two, because I know I can win. Um, and she's fun. It would be a fun final two in my opinion. And I want to bring her, and surprisingly, like it seems like the rest of the house is down to just get her out, get the little pawn out, get the, get the goat out, and then we can just battle it out. At this point, I don't care about betraying anyone. There's no more playing in the middle. It's me trying my best to win the final four and the final three. And I'm confident enough in that that if I just bring Tanika with me, like that's like the best odds to win. This is the nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two house guests for eviction. I will begin by pulling the first key. That person will be safe. The next person will pull the next key and so on until all the keys have been pulled. The two house guests with their keys, uh, without their keys have been nominated for eviction. The first person who is safe is Sabrina. Thank you. Next person safe is Jack. So this means Tamika and me, I have nominated you both for eviction. Um, it's nothing personal at this point, it's all about the veto, so good luck to everybody. Putting up Nathan and Tymeka. For me at this point, I don't really have a whole lot of targets left. I mean, most of the people who've been working against me are gone. So it's only people that I'm working with. So my goal going into this um, competition is to put up two people that were in my core alliance with the hope that if I don't win the veto, that the decision's out of my hands at that point. I was trying really hard not to get any blood on my hands with this vote because, because of how pivotal the jury is at this point. Going into those nominations, I knew Ewok is, it was closer to Jack. Um, he might have been even closer to Sabrina, but um, 
I knew that with Sabrina's power, she wanted to keep me in her pocket, um, and that she would use it to save me. Hello, house guests. You did it. You made it to the third and final day of Big Brother Columbus season seven. You join an elite group of house guests who have survived to the third day and should all be intensely proud of yourself. So this competition is called Sunday Morning Crossword, and here's how it works. <clears throat> One at a time. You will complete the giant crossword puzzle on the wall using the clues on the screen and letters on the table. You have the exact number of letters you need to complete this puzzle, so if you get stuck on a clue, try coming back to it later. The house guests to complete their crossword in the fastest time will gain the golden power of veto and automatically advance to the final four. Let's do Sunday morning crossword. Alright, Sabrina, your time begins in three, two, one, go. We play the POV competition, which is the giant crossword puzzle on the wall. Uh, there's clues on the TV uh, saying this um, stuff about just throughout the whole game. So there was a veto question, there was uh, a bunch of the prizes. Coming into it, I know I'm going to do well. Um, I'm really, really good with word puzzles and word games, so I, I kind of had a feeling that I, w I was going to do well. Going home here would probably be the worst case scenario just in terms of a person going. So I'm hoping she's genuine with me because she she has made it this far. Like she's a good social player, but she hasn't done much lying, she hasn't made many moves. I feel like she gets along with me potentially more than the others. So I'm hoping that she'll stay loyal. Hopefully Nathan doesn't win the veto and put me up with her. to try to win this, um, even though with Sabrina's power she would use it to save me. But I needed to guarantee my safety. Um, I didn't really trust what Ewok's gonna do, uh, especially with Tybeka in the game, it was it's too, too up in the air. Your final five veto is over. So
So, Tanika did time out with zero points. <laughs> so, all right. All right, Nathan timed out with seven words. Good job, Nathan. And then Ewok timed out with eight words. Oh, nice. <laughs> Jack, you timed out with eight words. And Sabrina completed the entire crossword in four minutes and 55 seconds. Whoa! Whoa. I end up winning. I end up being the only one who actually gets all 10. Um, so I have the POV and I have a fairly clear idea of what I'd like to do. Um, I know that I want to take Nathan off because again, I'm working with him the closest and I like to continue that trust with him. But then everybody wants me to keep moms the same except for Nathan. Congratulations. First thank of you. Oh my God, thank you. I was like really nervous. I, was like, okay. I, was like, I did, but I didn't want to win this. It's, like, it's a big decision. Yes, and that's why I'm like nervous. I mean, from my point of view, my priority is just because, like, there's only two people going in. Right. And if it splits, then it comes down to me having a brain tie. That's true. And that's not what I'm trying to do on fucking day three, week ten, right? Like, but this is your decision, right? You gotta do what's good for you, and no matter what, like, you and I have been good the whole game, yeah, and I trust you. Sabrina wins the power of veto, and for me, I know that I've been good with Sabrina this entire game. Um, she's part of my original core five. She has been um, part of a couple of different final threes with me, and um, I think she's somebody that I have been able to trust so far, and she hasn't proven me wrong. also <laughs> I just don't want to go up against her just in case something goes down. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's so hard to do this. Jack knows that I have the satchel ceiling, but he doesn't know I'm going to use it yet. Um, he thinks that I'm going to not use the power because he said he doesn't want to use his, so we don't have to worry about, you know, any rogue votes going on. So he tells me he's not going to use it, um, but he's not aware that I'm probably going to. You have been nominated for eviction, but I do hold the power to veto one of those nominations. At this time, both nominees may tell me why I should use the power veto on them. To make it easy first. First off, uh, I'm proud. First off, thank you. Uh, congratulations on being the veto. Do um, what's best for your game. Um, no hard feelings. Um, I just want to say that I'm glad I made it to final five. Um, yeah, this is kind of a whatever happens, happens kind of point. Um, I understand whatever you do, it will hard be like whatsoever. Oh. Okay. So at this point, um, obviously it's five of us left, right? And so we're all having to think about who wants it next to, or we're thinking just going forward because it's not much longer until it is the final three. Um, so in order to do the best for my game at this moment, um, I have chosen to use the power veto on Ethan. Since one of my nominations had been vetoed, I am forced to select a replacement nomination. Um, unfortunately, we are to it, and there's only one person that I can choose, so I'm sorry, Jack. Um, please take it. option to go up of course um, so he goes up next to Tamika so at this point I was pretty clear that I would like to vote out Jack and I know that I'm going to have the sole vote to do so because I plan on taking Nathan's vote and so I will have two votes and so of course I can put them right whatever way I want to but it doesn't make sense to tie it because I don't know what Ewok's plan is so I mean to be the safest I, I would, I'm gonna use both my votes all right, house guests, it is uh, week 10, Big Brother House. We're down to the final five. It's crunch time. 
we are going to lose one more of you, and then another very soon before we go to our live finale. Um, no pleasantries left. You've all played a great game. Uh, we've just had a swamp of nominees. So, before we get into the back room to vote, I'd like to give both uh, Jack and Tanika a last chance to make your plea to the house guests. Let's start with Tanika. Once again, thank you. I had an awesome time here playing with you guys. Um, once again, I'm not finished. I really wanted y'all to keep me if you can. Um, again, do what's best for your game. If it's keeping me, then do so. If it's keeping him, then do so. Okay. Good to meet you, Jack. Um, yeah, it's been super fun. I hope uh, you, you guys want for me to stay. We've been working, we all been working together. I want to keep doing that. No hard feelings on the Vita. If you thought using that uh, to build like a better rapport with Nathan was the move, that's fine. I just hope you guys want to keep me. So, thank you. Before we cast our votes to event, it has come to my attention that the BB Collagio price counter has been well used in this last round. Uh, so, first, I've been uh, made aware that the bracement of blocking has been purchased. If the owner of that power like to use it, now is the time. Um. Uh, I can use some swag. I, I'll, 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 I won't use it. Very well. Yeah. Uh, it's also come to my attention that the satchel of stealing was purchased from the Yuki Collage Prize Counter. If the owner of that prize would like to use it now, this is the time. I bought it. Oh, got the alcohol on it. Whose vote will you be stealing? Um, well, the only vote I can steal is Nathan's, so I will take his. Very good. That means, Sabrina, you will cast two votes to evict. You will be the only voter in this eviction. Yes. So at this time, I invite you to listen to the diary room and cast your two votes to evict. Okay. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict between Jack and Tyreka. Okay, so I would like to place both votes against Jack. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right, house guests. The live vote and eviction tally uh, has been tabulated, uh, and we do have a result. I will remind both nominees that once the vote is read, you will have just one minute to say your goodbyes, get your belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of two to zero. Jack, who's an evicted from the Big Brother house. Yeah. In the words of Jamie Boots, K for Ox. thinking about using the veto because it's like you're if you use the veto I automatically go up and if you truly were gonna vote to meek out either way then you're just gonna leave the knobs the same because she has the steal she's the only votes that round so did you know she had it yeah because oh. I went in second to the counter oh okay and if if she hadn't had it I had the blocker and so the steal essentially just counters the blocker because if I block then she'll just she would just steal Oh, so you had one. the bracelet and she had the satchel. Yeah. So she had a vote no matter what. Yeah. So, like, I, I was kind of playing the same move as her, to be honest. I wanted to keep Tamika in. Um, if I won the veto, I was going to use it on Tamika. And 
block the other person's vote. And, and I was worried, but when I was debating sending home Matt, I was, I was worried I would get targeted this round. Um, but it was a risk I was willing to take because I was worried Matt could just like win out and I'd rather take fate into my own hands a little bit. And when Ewok won HOH, it was like a, a wave of relief because he really seemed like he was on the same page as me. So just the fact that it came down to like not even the HOH, but I guess just the minimal amount of votes and just Sabrina, I feel like just kind of made that move on her own and so it was a good move. Um, in a way, you know, obviously I felt like it was kind of phony, but to some extent you have to be. So I, I'm gonna kind of like think more on like how she she went about doing that. So she is playing well, and that's kind of the first thing she's really done that hasn't just been like going where the numbers lie. Right. In, in my uh, from my perspective. Were you working with any of them? I was working with all of them. Okay. Um, Tamika, we had a final two. I think she would have stuck potentially stuck to it. Maybe not though. Um, She's like, she's smarter than she lets on, and she's pretty social, but obviously she doesn't have like really any agency in the game, she hasn't really uh, done anything tangible. She hasn't won anything, do you no. think that's been on purpose? Mm, not really. Um, I think she plays it, like, plays it up so she can flow. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, my strategy was to be a floater for as long as I thought I needed to, because I knew I could be a threat in a competition. Uh, a skilled competition player when I needed to, and I thought if you come in as like a, a threat and a competition player, it's gonna be really hard to turn that like, to ramp that down. And if you come in as like a natural floater, you're never gonna be able to achieve like the threat level. So I thought I did a pretty good job of shifting that. It's like it, but I was pretty impressed with my gameplay to be honest. I, I thought I it was, I mean, I'm glad I made it to fifth. It's pretty good. Very well. It's Jamie Boots, my boy's spot. So. <laughs> Especially early on, I was impressed with how well I was playing both sides. Because when there was like a girls alliance, I was like the main guy, I feel like, kind of getting into that group with like Jenna and the other girls. And I would vote with them some votes. I was, for the first four votes, I think I voted wrong in uh, pretty much intentionally every time just to get the numbers close and stir up some chaos. Oh, and then that allowed me to like bank on my, the, the lying skills I perceive that I have to just like kind of put the target on other people. I think that worked out well. Yeah, I think the jury is going to be very happy to hear you, well, interested in hearing you say that because there's been a couple, a lot of close votes and a lot of people do yeah, not Yeah, I also was the one who voted for Robert to stay. <laughs> Because it's just anything that can't be traced back to me. Yeah, uh, hinky votes are fun. Yeah. Um, and they certainly make for a more, uh, I think, paranoid but dynamic yeah. season. And that's what I liked. Because people are paranoid, then they're I want, more, Yeah, actually. I want people to be paranoid because I have confidence pretty much with most with most people that I'll be able to talk to them and make them feel good about me. So. Mm. Well, I do want to thank you thank for you. playing. Thank you. Um, you're very entertaining. Made it here. That's. Yeah, um, we're all very. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And I'm super excited to see how this season turns out. So I'll say bye. Bye. Oh, sorry. The wrong way Welcome to Jury. Hi! They're playing the, the new HOH if you want to come in. Let's do it. Audrey's back. That's why I wanted to see you here. Sorry, you guys. I wanted to see you. Uh, God. I don't know. I didn't think I would be a better dream member. But like, see, I had the voting. I don't even see it on the camera. He walked like mouth to uh, Nate. You're good. I'm like, oh, see? damn. See? I, was like, I told you guys. I did not want him to come back, but everybody's like, we're uh, bringing him back. Like, yeah, I, I did not want him to come back. Yeah. And then, and then everybody's like, we're you out. I'm like, God, like, I don't. Yeah, I I'm just bummed. Done you. Sorry. I, I should have put a walk out. Like, I know he's. It's all right. I have no hurt feelings. I didn't vote. Three, four. Vetoes are weird. Every single vote's been insanely close. Every vote is, it's every vote has been like down to the last minute. It could be, it could be, it could be anybody. Oh my gosh, who's here? Justine! Trevor! Oh my god! Hi guys! Hi! You were Hi. Hi. I'm so happy we can go to bed. Oh my god, you sure? <laughs> You need that shirt, girl. Oh my god, that's oh so Oh god. Have you guys 
didn't want to watch the feed. Yeah, I, what yeah. Did what say? did you say? Because we couldn't really hear. Oh, I so. called out all the alliances. Yes. <laughs> Can you repeat yes. them? Yeah, come on. I was like, like trying to do. You guys oh. fucked me over, so I'm gonna fuck you over. And I was like, there's been alliances since week one. It was me and Matt and Ewok and Jack. Yeah. There was an alliance between Ewok and Tony and Jenna and me. Because after you you left because did you think Jenna voted me out? Oh no. no. Okay. You All right. left because of Tommy. Okay. Because yeah. at the last minute he was like, I Ewok is, is like voting against Ewok. Number one. He didn't say anything to me when I was talking to him though. No. The thing is he was, he, he pitched me that floor with you and Jenna and the same round. Who was the third one? Because I thought it was like Nate. Uh, Jack said he Nate voted Jenna, for me to say. Nate, Jenna, and uh. I voted for you. Oh, you voted for me, thank Yes, because Jack. I promise you. Jack is a fucking liar. Jack He's is spilling a liar. everything. Yeah. If there's anything I do at the jury, it's going to oh. be a tear Jack down the fucking beanstalk because he is lying to everyone and words are coming out of his mouth. Hello. Double elimination with the bang, bitches. What the fuck happened? God Who's sleeping? Damn. We're not sleeping. Uh, uh, Trevor's the only jury member. I'm Ace upstairs. That's not sleeping. Oh, really? Hi. Hi. Um, I had a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone. And I am not better at all. I'm, I'm not either. If I had to leave at a time, I couldn't be happier with the time that I left at. The person that I left with mm -hmm. um, was absolutely fantastic. I had a fantastic time. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm very excited about that. What? I'm so excited. But yeah. Hey, man. How are you feeling? Ah, it's, uh, it's what was going to happen. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I think Sabrina has the best game right now. Oh. So, just because she's she's the only one that hasn't really like, pissed too, too many people off. And she's not like, working. Did people realize that? Sabrina? No. I think I'm the only one that did, but I couldn't bring it up. At six. I mean, I told Jack whenever I was talking with him, but... Oh, like, play card games and stuff. Oh, that's that's exciting. Exciting. Look who's here! What's oh, up, buddy? Hey. Yeah. A little shy. <laughs> Whenever you stop recording that, I'm asking him all child. That tall child looks terrible. Hey, we both do it. One goes out, the other one's right out. One, I thought I was going to be alright. Nah. Sabrina did a little thing. 